Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, is an abnormal heart rhythm in which irregular electrical impulses cause the upper chambers of the heart to quiver rather than beat regularly. Atrial fibrillation is a significant risk factor for developing stroke-causing blood clots. The left atrial appendage, or LAA, is a small sac connected to the left atrium of the heart. It is a normal part of the heart anatomy and causes no problems in the general population. In patients with AFib, this pouch can be a source of blood clots which form from blood pooling in the LAA. These clots can then be swept out of the LAA and travel into the bloodstream to the brain, blocking a blood vessel and causing what is known as an ischemic stroke. Around 795,000 people in the US have a stroke every year, with 87% of all strokes being ischemic. The risk of developing AFib doubles with each advancing decade and is more than 20% by the age of 80. People with AFib are five times more likely to have a stroke compared with people who do not. 90% of blood clots in strokes associated with AFib originate in the left atrial appendage. Meet Michael. Michael manages his atrial fibrillation with blood thinning medication, also known as anticoagulants. However, lately he has been experiencing heart palpitations, bleeding complications and shortness of breath. He makes an appointment to check in with his doctor, who advises him that as an AFib patient with these symptoms, he is at an increased risk of stroke. She talks with him about a number of options to reduce the risk of stroke, such as continuing on blood thinners, a procedure known as catheter ablation, or a left atrial appendage closure with an occlusion device. Michael is referred to a cardiologist. His cardiologist discusses the benefits and risks of left atrial appendage occlusion, LAAO, and suggests that closure can be effective in reducing the risk of blood clot-related complications associated with non-valvular AFib, and is an option for people who have bleeding problems that preclude them from taking blood-thinning medication. Michael decides to undergo the LAAO procedure. During the procedure, the physician guides a device through a catheter to occlude his LAA. The procedure lasts about 30 minutes to an hour. Within just a few weeks after the procedure, Michael feels better and more full of life. He is able to safely stop taking his blood thinning medication and is back on the road cycling with his friends. In considering your treatment options, a shared decision-making process between you and your medical team is recommended. You will need to consider the safety and effectiveness of device closure compared to blood thinning medicine alone and your medical history and activities of daily living need to be taken into account. If you or a loved one would like to know more about AFib and all your treatment options, talk to your doctor today. Your doctor can describe the risks and benefits and help you decide which option is right for you.